It's time, time, time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee oh. on The Breakfast Club. So yesterday, Oprah and the Central Park Five sat down and did an interview and she also interviewed the cast and executive producers of When They See Us and that full special Oprah Winfrey presents When They See Us Now will premiere June 12th at 10 p.m. on OWN and on Netflix. Oh, it's premiering on National Black Men Don't Cheat Day. I'll definitely be tuned in for that. Yes, so they are now the Exonerated Five. Yes. Is what this is being Mm -hmm. called. So make sure you guys check that out. What is this day you speak of? National Black Men Don't Cheat Day? Oh, uh, it's this Wednesday. It's just a day, you know, where us us faithful men will celebrate monogamy and celebrate being faithful to our partners. So you guys are gonna not cheat for one day? I didn't. That's not. That's that's not even what it's about. It's about a celebration of not cheating. Period. It's a celebration you of being celebrate faithful. celebrate that all the time. Oh God, no doubt. <laughs> just like Mother's Day, just like Valentine's yeah, Day. All these exactly. other, everybody else can have a one-off holiday, but we can't. You see how they do it? You see how silly it is? Mm-hmm. Like, don't, don't stop letting Satan use you, Angela. <laughs> it's Please. a shame that it's just such a rarity that you have a holiday for it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna start feeling like that about Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, and every other woman holiday, <laughs> Woman's Day, every other thing. All right. Now, Bushwick Bill, rest in peace to Bushwick Bill from the Ghetto Boys. He has passed away at 52 years old. He had pancreatic cancer. And again, our condolences to his family. Rest in peace, Bushwick Bill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's talk about the premiere of the final season of Power. That's going to be at Madison Square Garden. The sixth and final season of Power will take place there. And there will also be some special guests on hand as well as a performance. So make sure you guys check that out. If you can, the um, reservations huge. will not be available until July 9th if you guys want to go and watch with the whole cast and everything. I'm sure you DJing that, right? You're not DJing that? I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a bunch of DJs, and I'm sure I'll probably be one of them. You and Spin King. Salute to Spin King, my guy. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Spin King. All right. Now, Jay-Z has invested $1 million, and that's in a black-owned vegan cookie business. So congratulations to him. What's the name of the company? Because I had some vegan cookies the other day that was so good. I'm like, this can't be vegan. Partake Foods. It's a black-owned startup company which emphasizes on making health-conscious food products free of the top eight allergens in the United States. I'm not sure if that was the company, but I had some chocolate chip vegan cookies. It was so good. I'm like, what is vegan? I don't know what's the vegan part. Um, no animal products, so mm. that would mean that I guess there would be no eggs, no milk, and things like that in it. Mm. So no animal products. Mm. All right, now Taraji P. Henson, let's discuss her. She testified to Congress about the mental health crisis among black youth, and she was at Capitol Hill on Friday during the Congressional Black Caucus, Caucus Task Force Forum on Suicide Among Black Youth and Mental Health, and here's what she had to say about that. I am here out of necessity. I founded this foundation because there was a problem. My father passed away in 06, two years prior to that, my son's father was murdered here in Washington, D.C. That's trauma, not only for my son, but for myself. When it was time to look for someone who I felt I could trust and also my son could trust, it was like looking for a unicorn. I need the person sitting opposite for me when I go seek help to be culturally competent. All right, she also goes on to talk about things that should happen in the school system. I think we implement mental illness or mental health as as education in school. It needs to be a subject, just like sex education was, a physical education. It needs to, we need to talk about it. I really don't know how to fix this problem. I just know that this suicide rate is rising. (laughs) It breaks my heart to know that five-year-old children are contemplating life and death. I just... I'm sorry. Um, that one is tough for me. So I'm here to appeal to you because this is a national crisis. Drop on the clues, Bob. Taraji P. Henson, man. Taraji had a whole weekend in D.C. The Can We Talk benefit dinner and conference. Uh, I was there all weekend. I was there on Capitol Hill as well when she was speaking. The weekend was so fulfilling because you had all these beautiful black people coming together to elevate the conversation around mental health in our communities. And what, what Taraji did this weekend with her boys, Lawrence Henson Foundation, was incredible. She was raising money for people who can't That's afford dope. therapy. And I saw so many, I met so many dope black therapists and black psychiatrists and just people doing the work in this mental health space. So if y'all sick of me talking about mental health, then prepare to hate me even more because I'm all in. And Taraji is really out here doing the work and there is no doubt in my mind that 
this generation will be the generation to break all generational curses and pass on generational blessings. So salute to Tracy J. Jenkins and the whole Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation, Taraji. Y'all did that, all right? And I just also want to shout out Megan Thee Stallion. Um, on Thursday afternoon, she did this Hattie Beach cleanup. And what she did was she had a whole bunch of people come out and help her pick up litter as part of a new initiative that she's doing. And what she's trying to do is make sure that we advocate for eco-friendly practices. So it's amazing that she's using her celebrity as well to make sure that she makes changes in the environment. Listen, man, if you don't have a purpose that's bigger than you, then you don't really have a purpose. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. And again, shout out to everybody that was in San Antonio with us, man. San Antonio, we had such a good time. We appreciate everything. Shout out to our sister station out there, 98.5 The Beat. It was an amazing time. Yo Gotti performed. Um, Lunez performed. Lo- the uh, Loonies? The Loonies. Who else performed? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought the Lunez Loonies. <laughs> you talking about I Got Five on yes. it? Yeah, I Got Five on it. Well, you, as loonies. old as you is, you don't know Why who the Loonies are? Lunes. I'm like, who the hell is Lunez? I didn't know what he was talking That means Monday in Spanish. <laughs> Maybe it meant today is Lunez. <laughs> You know what I meant. You be trying to sound so young, so no, bad, I, I, and so you the mispronounce the loonies always, on purpose. I always say the loonies. The loonies. <laughs> Shout to the loonies. Shout to the loonies. They yes. gave me some barbecue sauce, loonies. too. Shout to them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. They gave me CBD uh, barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh, that's probably good. Shout to them. All right, Revolt, we'll see you guys later. Everybody else, the People's Choice Mix is up next. Get your request in. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. 